Hi there, my name is Ryan Wyatt and welcome to High Point Music's online video tutorials. So super excited about what we're going to cover in today's lesson. So I've done up a really nice little arrangement for you guys of that epic childish Gambino tune, Redbone. I remember the first time I heard this one, I was traveling and working overseas for a bit and it's one of those cases where if you've ever had that experience where as soon as you hear a song, even those first few seconds, you just know, you're like, what the hell is this? This is awesome. And it's pretty much, this song was exactly like that. So super stoked to be able to put this together in a cool little chord solo for you guys to start working through. So what we're gonna go through in today's lesson, guys, is I'm gonna give you the structure in which I played off there to be able to play this chord solo. We're gonna go through, show you the chords, right hand techniques, and then also I'm gonna give you guys the full form because I kept it to a little bit of a condensed version with the intro because it's going to be a long one, so no one wants to really sit around hearing me play for five minutes on that one. So, all in all guys, before we get started, I just want to make sure that you guys understand that all these chord solos giving to you guys completely free. So if you guys want to support the channel, like, subscribe, share, all amongst your friends and family. Also, if you appreciate the content we're putting together for you guys, you can throw us a donation via the PayPal donate link all in the description below. So I'm going to put the chords and the form up in the members area. Don't forget to sign up for that. It's completely free. It only takes a second. And then with all that out of the way, guys, let's jump straight into today's lesson. All right, so on the fretboard, here we go. So the first chord we're going to be using is an F major 7. So this is what we're going to use for our intro. So the part. That's what we're going to cover first today, all right? So we're starting off with this F major 7, which is our third finger on the third fret on the D string, second finger on the second fret on the G, and the first finger on the first on the B string. And also, guys, just to keep in mind, our capo that we see here is on the fifth fret today for this one. All right, so the first bit, we're hitting those three notes on the D, the G, and the B string for this chord. So that's step number one. So step number two is hitting our E string as the melody note. So we're going and then the fourth finger here is coming onto the third fret on the B string. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then following on from that, guys, this fourth finger is coming away and leaving a melody note on the first finger here. So that's one, two, three, four, like that, one, these three, one, two, three, four. All right, then moving on to the next bit, we're taking our second and third fingers into a G major chord like this, G major triad. So the reason why I'm using my second and third fingers in these positions is because we're going to be using our first and our fourth at various stages throughout this chord solo to be able to play melody notes there okay so that's why we're not doing it like that we've, there's a reason method to the madness guys so we've just gone one two three four and then we're going to this chord shape which is our second finger on the second fret of the a string third finger is on the third fret on the e string so we've got with our right hand, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so all that put together is one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So just the G and the D strings after that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then after that, guys, we're going straight into this A5 voicing here, which is really, it's really an A minor, but we're just, with the three notes we're playing here, we'll keep it strictly to an A5 with the name. So we've got open A string here, second finger is on the second fret on the D string, and the third finger is on the second fret below it on the G there. So we've got these three strings there. So we've just gone, okay. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. OK, 
okay. Just like that, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Sorry, I've overextended there, but just those three strings there, okay? So the next bit we're going to look at, guys, with this one is put it like this, so. So we've just gone with our A5 here, two, three. So what we're doing there is we're splitting the chord between the bass, just like a piano player would, between the bass note and the upper part of the chord. So we've just gone one, two, three, and three is on the D and the G strings there. So one, two, th sorry, one, two, three, like that. So putting that all together up to there. That two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that, guys. And after we do that, we go our second finger here comes up onto the second fret on the A string, and that chord is effectively a B minor seven triangle in three notes. It's a B minor seven in three notes, so second finger there open D string and our third finger remains on the A for that one. So we hit those three notes together and then we go so one open B string first finger comes down on the first fret on that B string and then our fourth finger comes on to the third fret on the E string as our next one. So we go one two three Four, just like that. One, two, three, four. So putting that together with the A5, we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, just like that. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, like that, guys. So putting that all together, we go. Like that. And after we do that, we go back to our F major seven voicing, which we just strum straight through and go. So what we're doing with this one, guys, is I'll show you guys. Let's talk about the right hand technique with that slap because that's the part in the tune where there's this, the slap bass where it's boom, boom, boom. And um, actually, what I mentioned, there's a really, really interesting um, uh, video of the producer who worked with Childish Gambino on this one. He's actually goes through step by step and looks at how they did the track in the studio. I believe they did it in Ableton Live, but he was talking about that thing. It was one of the highlights of him being able to throw in a really funky slap bass part. So I'll put the link in that in the description below for you guys to check out because it's super duper interesting just to see how a track like this comes together. But getting back to this right hand technique, so we go pretty much, I'll do it nice and close because I don't need to show you down here. So we've got, so what is is it's one, two, three. So I'm going down and I'm coming up with my thumb, sort of coming across like that. So I'm going down, down, up. So I'm tilting the thumb down like that as I come up and then slapping like that. So it's one, two. So I'm doing that so I can roll the thumb a little bit, get that sort of momentum with that motion. So it's one, two, three. So I'm rolling it around and then I'm ready to hit to get that real percussive effect to emulate that slap bass line. So one, Okay, so we've just gone, and then we go back to this G shape here where we go strum through the bottom five strings again, where it's strum through, so one, two, three, and then back to the A minor. 
So if you guys haven't covered the A minor, let's just those the A5 with our first finger added down to the first fret there. So putting that section together, so we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Once more guys, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one. All right, so let's look at adding on the next little bit for this one. So we're gonna do a little bit of filling with our chords before we go into this cool little part here, which I'll show you in a sec. So we go. Okay, so again, we're just splitting that chord up where we're going. Okay, so bass there, and then the rest of the triad in its place. Just like that, so we've gone. Okay, so let's look at this chord run here. The chords are, and it's gonna be a little bit of work to be able to get it if you're not used to it. So this is emulating that little glockenspiel line where it's going in the tune. So we're starting off with our third finger on the seventh fret on the D string here. And then our first finger is making a bar across the bottom three strings like that. So that's all together there. It's an A minor voicing. The next one we do, we're keeping our first finger on that fret there. And then this next voicing here, we've got our second finger coming on to the sixth fret there. And then our third finger here is coming down on the seventh here. So we're getting that descending bass line, so A minor, G sharp there, okay. And then moving on to the next voicing, after that one, our first finger comes up to make a bar all the way across the bottom four strings like that. But the difference is our first fourth finger, I should say, is on the eighth fret here like that so and then after we've gone through those three we go straight into a nice simple G major triad which is our first finger keeping a bar across those two strings there the second finger goes onto the fourth fret and then our third finger comes on to the fifth fret there so we've got that so putting those four chords together again we go one two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this might be something if you're not used to throwing these little chord runs in, this might be something which you have to do some really deliberate practice on. So isolating the exercise or isolating the area which you're struggling with, which is just a, is a skill in itself, being able to analyze your own playing and your own weaknesses to be able to apply that concept of deliberate practice. So you can turn those weaknesses into a strengths and level out your skills with your playing. So this is something you can definitely apply that to. So what happens guys, jumping back in, after we've gone, we just pretty much roll straight back into that introduction. So. Exactly the same. exactly the same up until there and then we can drop straight to an E7 voicing okay which is our second finger on the second fret on the A string open D string first finger goes on the first fret on the G string so we go like this um, so Just a straight three strums for that one to get us into the verse is the next section. Okay guys, so we've already covered the introduction. Let's jump straight into the verse and start breaking this one down step by step for you guys. So jumping on in, we start off by going with our F major seven voicing just like that. We're going one, the first step of that is the G, the B, the E, like that. So one, two, and on the second, we incorporate the D string into our voicing when we strum. So one, two, three is on the G string, and then four 
is when we hit the D string and then pull away, so four and. So that's one, two, three, four and. One, two, three, four and, like that. And then after we do that, we go straight into that G major triad that we've already covered. And we go one, two on the E and the A strings, and then D, G, and B together for three. Okay? So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, like that. So we've already covered that little excerpt there. And then we're jumping straight into an A minor voicing which we're hitting the middle four strings on. So with this one, just quickly, first finger on the first fret on the B string, third finger on the second fret on the G string, and the second finger is on the second fret on the D string. So the middle four strings, and then we play an open E string below, and our first finger here then goes onto the first fret, and then comes off it. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, just like that guys. So one, first finger comes away, open E string, first fret on the E string, and then comes off. So putting that all together with what we've got so far, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, straight into the A minor, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, A minor, one, two, three, four. And then what happens here is we've got a little lead in with our fourth finger coming down on the third fret on the B string, which keeping our finger there where it goes that so we're hitting the B string and then the G like that so quite quickly it goes and then it goes into a B minor voicing using those fingers there so we've got second finger there on the A string open D string third fingers on the second fret on the G string and then we've got our fourth finger on the third fret on the B string all right, so putting that in context with the A minor, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, one on the B minor. Two, three, four, five, six, one. And then after that, our fourth finger comes away and our first finger drops onto the first fret on the B string. So it goes one, fourth comes away, two, three on that B. So one, two, three, and then we go up to the G string here where our third finger is situated, and we've got a slur off, like that. So that's from the A minor we go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and and the beauty once we get to that point, guys, is it just repeats and um, for the second part of the melody. So I'm going to go through that a few times slowly so you can hear it in context. So go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and then it goes again. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and. So that's the first half, I should say, of the verse. So that little motive repeats itself two times. And then we've got a little variation on the melody, which we're gonna jump in and have a look for you guys here. 
So we've just gone. And then we go all the way through. We go one, using all four strings, one. So that's two and, which is one. And then we've got a slur from our fourth finger on the third fret on the B string, which is slurring off to our first finger on the first fret on the B string. So we're going one, two and, three, four and. So that just repeats exactly the same as previous parts. So one, two and, like that. One, two and, one, two, three. Exactly the same as before. The A minor continues. Okay, and this is where it starts to change. So I'll play through that just so you can get it in context. So we go one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, one. And once more for you guys. So one, two, and So after we do that, we hit our third finger there, that note on the second fret on the G string there. So like that. And then we're back to our F major shape where we go, we're strumming these three strings, but on the one, two, three, we're striking the note in the first fret and then hammering our fourth finger onto that note like that. So that's and then picking the first fret once we've removed our fourth and just following that sequence there. So like that. So Go to G, one, two, three, and then just straight to A minor here, but what we're doing is just walking through those chords, just filling out the space with a nice little chord fill. So I'll go through that from the right from the beginning of that section. So we go, so it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, what you can actually do on that E7 is to add a little bit of dynamic. So, you're building into the repetition of this verse melody, is just what I did there was just with some strumming, you can go. So that's something which is really kind of cool, which is often neglected with chord soloing, is actually, it's almost, and it, it bugs me a little bit, that people sort of look at strumming in some parts as sort of it's, because it's one of the first techniques you learn, it's sort of looked down upon as simple and not incorporated, everything has to be precise and finger picked, but it's a really awesome tool to actually bring a lot of dynamic, a lot of character to your arrangement, which makes things evidently far more interesting to listen to. So let's jump back on. I'm going to put that all in context for you, showing you that E7 breakdown. So we go one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, one. The hammer on, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and you go one, two, three, and you can just go one, two, three, one, two, three just on that E7 like that. And then that rolls straight back into the, just repeats straight back into the verse, which we roll through once more. So I'll put that all together for you guys. So I'll start the end three. Four, one, two.
Alright guys, so we've covered the introduction melody, we've covered the verse, let's jump on in and we're going to check out this pre-chorus section. So that's the... That's that part there, so jumping in on the fretboard, we've got two little double stops which we're leading in to the pre-chorus, so it's always a cool little way to use double stops to beef up your melody. If you're ever interested in doing any chord solo arrangement of your own at home, as opposed to just going the single note like that, you can always beef it up with some harmony, add a bit of thickness to your melody there. So, okay, a bit of beef there. So jumping on in, we've got our third finger covering the bottom two strings, the B and the E, third fret. And then we go down to the first finger doing the exact same thing there. So one, two, and then into our F major seven voicing like that. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then our four is with our fourth finger coming on to the third fret on the B string. So one, two, three, four. And then we hit. So one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, I'll just get those out of the way. But one, two, three, four. We hit like that to create that real percussive, really syncopated stop. So one, two, three, four, and and then what we're doing there is one, two, three, four, five. Those five notes we want to be bringing those out. So one, two, three, four, hit one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, hit one, two, three, four. So one. Two, three, four, hit one, two, three, four, and then our fourth finger is reaching all the way down to the third fret there to go one, two. So playing the bottom or the upper note of that melody on our third fret and on our first fret on the E string. So that's one, two, three, four, hit G, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, hit G. One, two, three, four, five. And then we go into an A minor. One, two. Okay. One, all the way through to the bottom E. So one, two. And then after we do that, we hit the bass. Second finger comes up here to make the B minor voice. And we hit the bass note. Okay, it's one. And then we're hitting these three strings with a hammer on. So, so first finger staying there on the first fret in this voicing here. So we're going like that. That's the so bass, bass strike, and then we're hammering on with our fourth finger. So to put it in context, guys, with the A minor we go. So one, two, okay, one, two, so one, two, and then we lift that away for the next bit there. So putting that all in context guys up to that point, so one, two, three, four, hit, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, hit. So I put a little extra note in on the, there, just be three or four is fine. That's just one of the fallbacks of my training being based in improvisation. I have a tendency to play things a little bit differently from time to time, but going through that again. So one, two, three, four, hit, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, hit. Okay, into that B minor style of voicing there. So after we've gone through that section, we go fourth finger down to the bottom. First finger is playing the melody for us there in the first fret. So we've just gone one, two into the F. Okay, exactly the same all again. So. One, two, hit. 
All right, so we've just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, hit. So from the B minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, hit. And then once we get to that point, guys, we go, sorry, go, so. I was right, so we go all the way through on that G, making it a G major six, this voicing. It's a G major six because we're bringing out the E, which is the sixth of G major on the open string, the bottom, okay? So we've just gone, like that. So putting that all in context up to that point, guys, we, from the beginning, one, two, three, four, hit. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, hit, bass, one. One, two, three. Put the little one, two, three on the end there. So I'll do that again, walk you guys through that. So from the beginning, one, two, three, four, hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, hit. One, two, hit. Okay, after we've done that, we've gone G major six, two, three, four, Again, third to the third to the first there, so. and then we go into our A minor, straight through, all the way through the bottom, bringing out the fifth of the chord there. Okay, and then our fourth finger comes onto the third fret on the E string, so like that. And then the next little bit, guys, we're dropping our third finger onto this. This is going to be the. Part. So it'll sound a bit whack when you do it when you first start practicing it. Okay, but once you get it up to speed, it'll sound quite cool. So what we're doing is our third finger is covering the G, the B, and the E strings there. And then if we're finger picking it, we're striking the bass in the A string here and sliding a third finger up two frets to make it an A minor seven voicing. So from the A minor here, we've just gone all the way through, fourth finger on the third fret, and then we drop into that position. Okay. So one, two, three. In slow motion, sounds a bit funny, but it will sound fine, trust me. Okay, so we go. It's a bit fun finger picking up on the neck here for you guys, but it's probably a good way to demonstrate it for you. So we've just gone. Okay, one, two, three, bass chord. So we've gone. One, two, three, bass chord. One, two, three, bass. And then the chord like that. Cool, so let's go from this F major seven part. So we've just got this chord where we go. So we've kept our third finger there where we've played the A minor seven, voicing like that. Our first finger just comes onto the third fret on the D string here. So we go one, two on the open E string. So it's a really percussive effect we want to do. So we're going to stab at the chord, so to speak, creating that real staccato type sound. So one, like that, just relaxing our fingers after we strum it. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And we go down to the third fret on the B string, go three, one, three. So one, two, three, one, three, into that G major voicing where we're playing the bottom five strings, or the top five strings, I should say. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And after that, guys, we go first finger, and then our fourth finger comes on the third fret. Okay. And then into the A minor voicing like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. To A minor, where we're going all the way through. Like that. Okay, so one, two, and then we're sliding up to this little voicing here to get that screeching effect that he does when he's singing. So, it's, so done at speed, when you do it slowly, it's going to sound a bit funny, but done at speed, it's going to sound fine as it did in the introduction, which I played through for you guys. So what it is, is this is the actual voicing here. So it's an A minor with A minor nine, I should say, with our third of this chord on top. It's got that nice little, nice little semitone dissonance there, but our third finger starts off on the seventh, first finger's on the fifth, on the G string, we've got open B below, and then our fourth finger is on the eighth there. So I'm starting that out two frets below, and just as I strum through, sliding up. <clears throat> so if you notice, as I start strumming, I start sliding, and by the time I hit the bottom note, which is this one, I've actually we're not actually getting a slide from there, we're going, these other notes are sliding in, and then by the time we hit that note with our right hand, we've slidden into pitch, okay? So it's an interesting little effect there. So that's. Okay, so the options are with your finger picking or strumming, depending how coordinated you are or developed with your right hand technique. You could go strum, one, two, three, four, like that. Or you could flutter with your fingers like this. I'll do it back here so it's a lot easier. So, so that's one, two, three, four, one. So the slide, one, two, three, four, one. So either or, it doesn't really matter, whichever way you're most comfortable technically. So it just gives you a few different options there depending on your technical ability with your right hand. All right guys, so moving on from that bit, we've just come out of that and then we're building into the chorus, okay? So we come down to this, one of my favorite voicings on the instrument. It's a F Lydian or F major seven sharp 11 voicing. So pretty much in this position, guys, it's just a bar chord in open position, but we're opening the B and the E strings up. So first finger starts on the first fret on the E, third and fourth make that power chord shape. So third fret on the, on the A string, fourth finger goes on the third fret on the D string, second finger's on the second fret on the G, and then we've got open B and E, so we've got Okay, and with this one, guys, I'm usually just strumming it. So it's just one, two, three, and uh, hearing those lovely open strings chime out there. So one, two, three, and uh, and then I just slide that same shape up to the key of G. One, two, three, and uh, which gives us that nice sixth sound with the E ring in on top. So one, two, three, and uh, and then into the E7, so one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So you can really build the dynamic with this part of the tune, just with your strumming. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you guys can hear really nicely how it just lifts into that. So that covers our pre-chorus section. We're just about to go and jump into this chorus part. Now let's check that out. We're starting off 
with a little hammer on here from the third fret on the B string where we're going and that's on the third fret to the fifth fret on the B so we do it twice so and the second time we put a little bit of work bit of vibrato on that note there on the fifth so and then straight into our F major 7 voicing which we've already covered so we go one fourth finger comes onto the third fret for two comes away from the third fret for three and notice on these second and third voicings we're just strumming those three strings there the D the G and the B so really slowly guys that's one with all four two three and notice how I'm relaxing my hands after we hit those notes to create that percussive effect, okay? Or just really staccato like. So, F major seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. And after we do that, guys, we jump up to our G major voicing. Okay, which we're doing using the top five strings on the guitar there. So we're going one, two, three on the G and the B, G and the D, I should say. So one, two, three, and we've got a hammer on with our first finger on the B string on the first fret, and our fourth finger on the third fret on the B string as well. So outside of the voicing, it looks like this. Okay, with the voicing on the top, we do that. So recapping what we've got to do on the G, we go one, two, three, hammer on, D string, back to that B string there with the melody. So one, two, three, like that. Just like that. Okay. And after that, guys, we go into our A minor where we go. So we're strumming the middle four strings. And then we hit on the third note of the A minor. So we go one, two, three for that real percussive effect to cut it off. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And after, after we do that, we go we strum this B minor voicing here with our second finger just coming up a string like that. Okay. So after we do that, we go one, two, three, quite quickly. And then we go first fret, third fret on the B string using our fourth finger. So let's go from the A minor, walk you through it really slowly. So one, two, three, B minor, one, two, three, first finger, fourth finger on the third fret there. Do it again, guys. So A minor, two, hit. Second finger comes up for the B minor there. Three strings, one, two, three on the B, G, and D. And then first finger, fourth finger is carrying the melody under there. So let's go really slowly through the entire section or the entirety of what we've covered thus far. We go hammer-ons, F, G, A minor, hit B minor. One, two, three. And again, guys, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll just recap that A minor for you guys because it's the freshest part of that. So one, two, three, B minor. One, two, three, four, five. 
then after that continue on to the next rotation through the melody same again on the F so we go through for the first one using the four strings hit like that so one two hit one two so it goes one two three one two three after we do that so one two hit one two three and then a little hammer on again so hammering on with the first and third frets there okay so one two three one one two three one Okay, so it's very similar, just a slight variation on that first part. And then it goes into an A minor. So one, two, hit. One, two, three, four, there, okay? So it's going to go really slowly through that bit. This is the second time through the melody in the chorus, or the second part of the melody, I should say. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, hammer on. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, hammer on. So I'm going to put that all together with the whole at the front end of the chorus. So we go. Hammer on. A minor. Hit. B minor. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Hit. G. One, two, three. Hammer on. D string. B string. A minor. Two. Hit. B, one, two, three. So again, guys, this is a lot to get through here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, hammer on. A minor, two, hit, B minor. One, two, three, four, five, second part. One, two, hit, G, one, two, three, hammer on. D string, B string, A minor, one, two, hit, B minor, one, two, three. And then after that, guys, we go, we repeat that again. Same again. Hit, and here's where it changes. Okay, we do that bit, those three notes on the B minor. But what's going on in the melody is we've got a triplet feel where we're going. So they're going to find where we're going. B, first finger on the first fret on the B string, which is the C note. And then fourth finger there on the third fret, which is the D. So what we've got there is that real triplet feel. So triplet. So one, two, three, triplet. Okay, so triplet, and then it goes back into the F major 7. Alright, so let's go through that. So, second half of the chorus, so F, G, hit, B minor, 1, 2, 3, triplet. So triplet, one, two, three. So triplet, one, two, three. G, one, two, three. Hammer on, D, G. One, two, hit. And then just finishes on the E7. Okay. So let's go really, really steady through the entirety of the chorus here, okay? So first time through, we've got the hammer-ons. Hit. 
kit, B minor. One, two, three, four, five, F. Hit, G. Two, three, four. A minor, one, two, hit, B minor. One, two, three, hammer on, hammer on. One, two, three, G. Triple it, F, hit, G. One, two, three, hammer on. One, two, three, E, two. Okay. Okay, guys, so here we are. We're in the last section. So the fifth part, we've got the bridge. So let's jump in, do a quick little demo, and then I'll break it down for you. So we're at this part here where we're... Cool. So let's go in and break this down chord by chord. So the first one we're going to be looking at, guys, is an A minor voicing here, like that. So we'll look at it first as if you're finger picking. So the open A string there, and then up on the fifth fret here, we've got our first finger making a bar across the G, the B, and the E strings there. So one, two, three. So going to go one hit up on two and then three is that percussive little knock just to cut the sound off so one two three okay on the contrary if you guys are strumming out there if you've gone for a different approach other than the finger picking i want you to move your first finger up to cover the d string as well so we're getting the bottom four there so you can strum the bottom five to make that an a minus seven so we're going one two three Okay, one, two, three. So that's gonna give you guys the sound that you need to get that done. All right, but after we've covered that bit, I'm gonna go back to the finger picking. So one, two, three. We keep our first finger where it is and we're targeting the G and the B strings here. So we're going one, two, with our first finger coming on there and our fourth finger coming on two frets up, like that. Okay, so that's one, two, three like that one two three and then after we do that guys after those two little double stops we go into a a d minor seven voicing there which is our first finger making the bar across the bottom five strings on the fifth fret second finger goes on the b string next to it and then our third finger is on the d string on the next fret up so that's our voicing there for the D minor seven. So let's put the strumming together with that. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So after I'm strumming through, I'm going one, hitting the fifth, okay, which is the third finger there, and then going through with the third. So one, two, three and then cutting after I strum by relaxing the hand. So one, two, three. Just like that, just letting the pressure just relax off, okay? So recapping that bit. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Once more for you guys. So one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so next little bit for this one, guys, we're jumping down to our F major 7, which we should be well familiar with by now. And then we're going all the way through the bottom four. One little familiar run here with our fourth finger coming onto the third fret on the B string. So it goes one, two, three, coming off the three. So one, two, three, like that. One, two, three. And after we do that, guys, we go to a G major voicing. The difference with this D major is we've got our third finger on the B string there, leaving the open E string here, which would technically be a G major six. But what we're doing here is we're going one, two, three, one, using that sixth, two, three, like that. So one, two, three, one, two, three, 
one, two, three, one, two, three. And then after that, guys, we go to our E7 voicing here. Okay, first finger there, second finger up on the second fret on the A string. Okay, so we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, go through to the B string here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, just like that. So that all together goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And last time guys, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, just like that. And then jumping back to the A minor seven where I'm just gonna keep looping it round and round, but we'll recap it here for you. So one, two, three, one, two, three, D minor, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Cool guys, so that's all the parts that we need for this one. What an epic arrangement. That's taken a while to get through, but I had an absolute awesome time putting that together for you guys and doing this lesson. And I hope you guys get just as much enjoyment into the future learning this one and being able to play such an awesome song that Redbone is. So if you guys appreciate the content of this lesson, hit those subscribe, like, and share buttons. We always appreciate those. Also, you can also donate by the PayPal donate function, which is in the description below. Just click follow through the link and you can throw any amount that you feel this lesson is worth to you guys with your practice. Also guys, just quickly in the members area, I'm gonna put the form up for this, just in a PDF file along with the chord voicings and all the things that we've covered, just so you can download that and have a look at that as an extra resource for you all. But if you want to get my help personally, make a request of any for stuff or content for future online tutorials, shoot an email to learn at highpointmusic.com.au where you can make your requests or you can want to make a consultation with myself personally so I can look at your playing and come up with a program to give you the tools and techniques to get your playing really rocketing along. You can click on that in the description below and I'm more than happy to have a look at that and get you guys on your way going the direction you want with your playing so again guys just to wrap up awesome tune practice hard i know there's a lot to cover in this lesson this is the longest one i've done so far but i look forward to doing up more original content like this for you guys in future so thanks for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video